everyone, I am the Lore Explorer and this is the Outer Wilds. Today we are going to take a look at Giant's Deep. From the perspective of a Harthian, this planet may seem a bit logic defying, but I think I should be able to explain most of what's happening here with natural phenomenon. Basically what most of them come down to is density. Now I know we've all been told over and over the earth is 70% water, but this is sort of a misleading statement. Water does cover 70% of the surface of Earth, but it only accounts for 0.002% of the Earth's total mass. Now think about it, the largest planet in our solar system is solely comprised of water. How dense does that water have to be to cause more gravity than one made of rock like Timber's Hearth or even a black hole? But the water isn't the only thing that is dense on Giant's Deep. The outer layer of Giant's Deep atmosphere is thicker than the entirety of our ship. The entire planet is encircled by what are essentially clouds. These clouds are so thick and dense, they cause a never ending storm, and also they act really well at retaining the heat from the sun. This heat likely evaporates ocean water just as quickly as it can fall. The cause of the tornadoes has something to do with this as well. See, even tornadoes are caused by differences in the density of the air. Cold air being more dense and warm air being less dense. This hot air quickly rises and as it rises, this air gets pushed in different directions since it's blocked in by the dense clouds above. This can cause an air current in the middle of this updraft that can only spin as it's surrounded on all sides by other air with nowhere to go. This vortex ends up picking up the bottom of the clouds and as the current grows, these clouds eventually become a full fledged tornado. I probably butchered it somewhere, but that's my oversimplified understanding of how it works. Now, normally, these tornadoes pass over land and things get in the way to stop the wind here on Earth. But on a planet like Giant's Deep, there's no large landmass to speak of. So the tornadoes on the North Pole would be able to rage on as long as the planet stays as it is and it's able to stay in place due to the polar vortex. As the wind moves around the planet, it traps much colder wind on the pole. This allows the tornado to stay in place. Now, you may think this crazy environment with the wind on top of the surface of the ocean may cause these crazy water currents below, but these can also be explained by another natural process surrounding density. Water density is mainly judged by two factors. How much sodium or salt is in the water, in other words, its salinity, and again, the temperature of the water. Our planet, Timbers Hearth, has an underwater system attached to its geysers. As the water heats up, again, it quickly rises. Since there can't be a pocket of nothing in the water, cool water rushes in to fill this space. This results in a current that can sweep us up and carry us a pretty far distance and travels and all the way across Timbers Hearth. This is exactly what we see on Giant Steep as well, just surrounding the whole core and nothing to do with thermal vents. You can even tell that once you break through the current, the water underneath is a lot denser than it was on top. But now we are confronted by a giant ball of electrically charged something. Lore, I hear you saying. How the hell are you going to explain that? Now. I'll admit, this is just a giant guess, but let's say the water on Giant's Deep contains a metallic substance that causes a lot of the density here on the planet. This barrier is where all of this metallic stuff would collect as it's anatomically lighter than the colder, deeply salinated water inside of the barrier. All the lightning that has crashed down throughout the years on Giant's Deep has left some residual electricity in the water. This electricity has to go somewhere and the buildup of a metallic substance would be a good place for this, creating this barrier with the buildup current that stores this electricity. This metallic substance may even be what causes the green pigment of the clouds, and once it builds up and gets put under pressure in the ocean, it changes color again to this dark purplish-like color. But that's about all I can think of to touch on for Giant's Deep. For now, this is the Lore Explorer going to see if I can land a shuttle on the Tower of Quantum Knowledge with the Quantum Moon. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope it helped explain a little bit of the process that's happening here.